This guide will help you get started on hunting in Paleo as well as some extra tips and tricks. To start, you will receive mail from Hassian on your first day in Paleo which has the makeshift bow attached. Hassian is the NPC for the hunting skill and he is often found walking around in Kilima village as well as in Bahari Bay. In order to start hunting, you must craft some arrows with the beginner ones being makeshift arrows. To equip specific arrows, simply right click with the bow equipped and it will show you the arrows you can then choose from. You can then hold left click and then chew your arrows at anything you want to hunt. Remember, when hunting creatures that are further away, you want to raise the reticle higher than where you normally would otherwise due to the drop off as the arrows propels forward. There are two different types of game to hunt as of right now with three variations of each. There are chapas, which are small furry creatures that run away when startled and burrow into the ground. The variations are the normal chapa, the stripe chapa, and the azure chapa. The other is the cernuks, which are deer-like creatures, and the variations for these are the normal cernuk, elder cernuk, and proud horn cernuk. Generally, the best place to find cernuk is in the Whispering Banks area, and the best place for chapas is in the Leafhopper Hills area. These spawns did get nerfed recently, but these are still the best areas to find them. Chapas can be hard to hunt sometimes, as they will start running away and then burrow into the ground, unlike cernuks who also run away when startled, but they do not burrow. They just run around for a bit and then stop again again so they are easier to hunt. Chapas do require less arrows as they have less health so depending on how good your aim is you might find them easier but it just heavily depends on your preference. Like the other skills there are shop upgrades that you can purchase and recipes as well. Make sure to read the descriptions on Hassian shop upgrades as the arrow and bow upgrades do very different things. The bow upgrades increase how far your bow shoots the arrow while arrows have variable effects. The standard and fine arrows increase the amount of damage done while slow down arrows slow down the creature that you are hunting and the dispel arrows disable magical effects for a period of time. Dispel arrows are mainly used for hunting the Azur Chapa and the Proud Horn Cernuk. Hassian also has the Hunter's Horn which allows you to track rare creatures for 15 minutes. If you want to focus on hunting creatures faster it is a good idea to upgrade to the higher damaging arrows as soon as possible as the standard arrows one hit normal Cernuks. This is especially if you don't like chasing the Cernuk or have a hard time hitting Chapas again before or they burrow into the ground. If you like a more stealthy playstyle, you should upgrade your bow as it'll allow you to shoot your arrows further so you can hit them without getting too close. Magic creatures are a bit more complex to hunt. Proudhorn Sarnuk, when startled, will teleport away with magic as well as run away. You must make sure you are keeping an eye on their magic trail and where they are going as you can possibly lose them if you don't. These you don't necessarily need to spell arrows to hunt down, but they can be helpful. Personally, I've hunted them with just standard arrows before when I first started hunting. But granted, with lower quality arrows, it is going to take you a lot more arrows and a lot more time. Since the Cernuk don't disappear like the Chapa do, you can just continue to chase them down until you've hit it enough times to get looped. The Azure Chapa, on the other hand, is more difficult as it requires a little more skill as well as a time constraint since it will burrow into the ground after it runs away a little. When the Azure Chapa is shot, it splits itself into magical clones which mimic its behaviors. The only way to know if they are clones or real is that when you shoot an arrow at them, the clones will dissipate for a short amount of time into magical energy and then reform into a Chapa. If you use the spell arrows, however, you can avoid this and the real Chapa will have stars over its head and be stunned. You can also use slow down arrows which have a green smoke effect around the main chapa so you don't have to focus on the clones at all and it will also be traveling slower than the clone so it'll be easier to shoot. Another tip is you should hunt with other players when you can. Just like other resources in the game, if you all participate, you are able to get the loot together. If you shoot towards a creature, as long as it's close enough, even if you miss, it will count as you having participated in the hunt, meaning you will get the loot at the end as well. So this is a good strategy if you're not the best at aiming or don't have the equipment but still want to get your hands on some loot. Once you hit level 10, you have access to the items purchased with medallions in Hassian's door. You can earn medallions by going to the accomplishments tab and completing the weekly challenges for that skill. That is everything you need to know in order to hunt successfully in Paleo. Like and subscribe if this helps you and thank you so much for watching.